Hi everyone, it's Carolyn here to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel for your awakening journey support. And then I offer you my take on it, give you some of my experiences, and some more learning to take away with the channel. So welcome to everybody who's new. Thank you for joining me at my channel, Carolyn Zeiser. I'm a channel, a spiritual awakening mentor, and a distance energy healer. And I offer these channels for your support during your awakening journey. So I hope you enjoy this one today. So we're going to talk about change during the awakening and how this is part of the natural progression of life and the awakening. Because as you know, in this journey, it's about the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. And that is us. And that is clearly change, clearly metamorphosis. But I also want to give you my take on change uh, because it's been an interesting time for me. And I'm going to just have a little bit of a discussion afterwards about that. So I have three channels for you. These previously were posted on my Facebook page. And what I'm doing now is trying to offer these to you on YouTube as well and doing it in a themed approach. So here we go today. Fear not, for the winds of time are at your back, guiding you as though you are a bird on the wing, effortlessly on its journey wind under its wing, breathing life into you, sweeping away your trying times, the tears in your eyes. The wind of change is here now. Breathe deeply of the new day, for it is coming fast in your way. So I want to make a comment about this one, because this makes me think about how every single day during the awakening, at least for me, has been different. And I have pretty much consistently across my life, get up in the morning, feel pretty much the same. And not a lot of swing here and there. Oh no, not with the awakening since then. Every day is different and every day offers some kind of change. And change is emotion, right? We're bubbling up a lot of things that we are now dealing with. And honestly, you know, they talk about wind under its wing. Okay, that's the bird, wind under its wing, allowing it to just drift gently through the skies, the wind being the change as the metaphor. So as we think about this change that we are going through, which is inevitable, oftentimes we can get exhausted by change. We can be very fearful of change, um, mainly because it's unknown. We don't really know what's coming our way tomorrow. You know, yeah, we have some control over our life, but honestly, I think we've learned a lot about the awakening where if we just start acting like the bird floating on the wing of the wind, well, we're much better off than if we stress and strife and worry and become fearful because all that does is offer heavy energy to us as we're going through this change. Okay, so you got the change energy going on. But then you bring in all this strife human energy that we bring toward the whole idea of change. And oh my gosh, all that does is clash and make things worse. If we can just breathe into it and allow that change and know that this is part of the journey. The things that are coming to us for us to deal with that come in our way. Because as you all know, magical things start happening during our awakening journey. Some things are difficult, but they are just there. All right. I honestly feel like I could sit in my house, lock my doors and shut my windows and curtains and I'd still <laughs> still have things occur that I would have to deal with. I mean, you just can't avoid this in the awakening. Okay? So the point is is leaning into it just like they said, float in on the wind with the bird, like the bird on the wing. Because the more we lean into the change that's coming our way, that we know is coming our way, and just float down the stream, like I've said before, like the leaf on the stream, we are going to be better for it. We're going to offer ourselves less stress and strife. And we're also going to be able to feel the goodness of what is coming our way. Also be able to feel in our way I would say a sense of calm, knowing that things that are coming our way are for our greater good. And we're going to be able to see the signs and messages and help along the way. But when we're torn up in strife about the idea of just change in general, and we whip that up into the, with the change, it just gets more difficult. So I'm going to mention one thing because I like to do this, dimension meditation, because it is one thing that will keep your anxiety low. Um, in whatever way that works for you. I'm a very simple meditator. I like to just breathe 
quietly close my eyes and not see anything. I don't think, I don't try to see things, I don't try to get messages. Sometimes we work too hard in meditation. We make it way too hard. Just pretend like you're almost going to sleep, but I sit straight up in a chair and I just close my eyes and I just relax and breathe and that's it. And I kind of look at my third eye, you know, almost like a cross-eyed approach, but I just gently let my eyes relax. And I do that for as long as I want to. Sometimes, honestly, it's five minutes. Other times it's 30 minutes. So don't get wrapped up in all the technicalities of it, okay? And don't be trying to find information. But this will be one of the major things that helps you through change, okay? Because change happens. And the other thing I want to mention about change is many of us fear it. Many of us fear it. And I'm going to tell you, I love change my entire life. You know, I've not been going through the awakening that terribly long. Most of my life is spent unawakened, okay? I love change. I like different things. I like to try new things. I like surprises, um, adventures. But I'm going to tell you, there were been a few times during the awakening where all I want to do, <laughs> this is funny for me, is just go back to high school. Because I had a really great time in high school. I know I'm a fortunate one, but... It was just like the best time of my life. It was almost like um, fantasy land, perfect world for me. And sometimes I think, why couldn't I have just stayed there? I don't want to go through any of this. I don't want to do this anymore. And you can get really tearful about having to deal with all this change. And so, you know, that was a beautiful time in my life. And I've had other beautiful times, but that's one where just everything was ease and grace. Every single thing. It was magical. And, you know, you, you sit and wonder... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to go through change. I just want to stay the way things are. But what we have to know is that is not an option. It doesn't matter. It's not an option because it's about our growth. And it's beautiful. And it is here for our greater good. And it's here for the collective's greater good. So just know that. It is part of the process. It's a natural process. Change is going to happen. So with that, I'm going to read you the next one. And these next two are short, but they're I think they're neat. For the change comes from you inside, each individually in your time. You are it, yes we say, the new earth of O today. So that's a short one, but when you think about that, <laughs> there's a lot there. You, me, all of us individually. I don't care what we're doing every single minute of the day because we tend to think that we have to be doing these big things and all these important things and make a huge impact and whatever that even means, right? But the mere fact that we're here and we're working on ourselves and we're going through the awakening and we're dealing with all our emotions and we're bringing all this to the surface and we're clearing, 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 clearing all these things we haven't dealt with. That's helping you ascend. That's helping the collective ascend, making you lighter, taking in more light. You are the new earth, and that's what this awakening is about, and that's why this change is happening to us. This is why change happens, and particularly now, during the ascension. So I hope you enjoyed that one, because I really think that one is one to take home and really think about and keep. Because honestly, that's it. You're changing, you're working it <laughs> during your awakening, and you're creating the new earth inside of you, which is what everybody's doing that's awakening. All right, here's the last one. Again, it's short, but powerful. Seek the change within yourself. For as you grow in light, so do those you surround. Now, I really want to talk about this one because as you change, as you shift, as you do this clearing, as you do this work during the awakening that is presented to you, which is the change coming your way, you are offered more light. You know, through a variety of things, upgrades, the energy shifting and changing, the work you do to work on yourself, clear these things, continue to improve yourself, um, work through the struggles and difficulties, work through the emotions, forgiveness, guilt, sadness, um, anger, all of that. As you continue to work through this and make yourself lighter, guess what? Everyone you are around benefits. And so, like I said earlier, you know, so many people want these big things that they're going to do. And yeah, maybe you do end up doing them. And of course, I believe you can create anything you want, so go for it. But the point is, the mere fact that you're here, taking in this energy, doing this work, seeking the change in yourself, leaning into it, you're impacting every single person around you. And I have examples in spades in my life by just going on errands that were super powerful times where the outcome 
became something I would never have imagined because I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I have to go get my tire fixed now and just ran over a nail. What a way to mess up my day and my schedule. And I was supposed to be there. And I won't go through that event because I think I've shared it in another video. But the point is, I made a powerful impact on someone else's life and I knew it. And these are other things that will happen along your journey. We're just by being there, being with your family and your friends, being the only one awakening, potentially, you're helping them. You're sparking their little light and making it into a greater flame. Now, I don't know if you'll see it, but I know many people are starting to notice that friends and family members are starting to awaken. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of that has to do with the fact that you have been there around them. So know that what you do, when you change and seek that change within yourself and work it, you grow your light and then you help others that surround you, which ultimately is work helping the collective. So those are my three little channels today on change. And think about those again and how they apply to you because it is what it is. This is what happens in life. Change is inevitable and it's beautiful. And this is where we are headed together as a collective. So I hope you've enjoyed this message, these messages today. And I wanna remind you to check out purplerainhealing.com where I offer my services of distance energy healing, channeling and spiritual awakening mentoring. Because as I always say, I would absolutely love to work with you in launching you forward in your awakening journey. So with that, thank you again so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.